Helping domestic abuse victims begin the new chapter of their lives is the aim of global non-profit organization Hopeful Handbags. President of the Caribbean arm of the organization, Clyde Robinson, says although a major part of their work deals with presenting handbags filled with essential items, they work closely with domestic abuse survivors to get the help they need to move away from an abusive relationship. We hear more in tonight's See Yourself segment with Mahalia Joseph Wharton. Board Director of Hopeful Handbags Global Caribbean and Domestic Abuse Survivor Solana Rivas joined the organization in 2022 as she saw its potential to provide hope to those who need it. I know that sometimes, a lot of the times, there's that hopeless feeling, you know, so just being able to have somebody there to know that there is a ray of hope, you know, there's someone I can talk to, there's someone who will listen to me, there's someone who will guide me. A handbag filled with personal care items might seem frugal to some, but according to President of the Caribbean Arm of the organization, Clyde Robinson, the hopeful handbags signify much more than the bag and its contents. So when you get a handbag, it shows that someone, someone out there cares and there is hope, you know, and then we can uh, move on from there. He said they help those who reach out to them start a new chapter. We have Clothes, so if, if a survivor probably get a job and they need any survivor in Trinidad and they don't have a suit to go to their interview, they could contact us and come and we're not going to give it, to, just send it for you, you're going to come and pick out whatever suit that you need. Ms. Riva said often victims of domestic abuse are isolated from their friends and loved ones and end up relying solely on their abuser for support. So anybody that is seen as a potential hope or escape, the abuser isolates the victim from those people so that now they're confined to, you're my only resource, you're my only lean on, you're my only turn to. And that is where it becomes so difficult for a survivor to make that step to leave because you wonder, if I leave, what am I going to do? She said groups like Hopeful Handbags become a family unit for those who have been living in isolation. Mr. Robinson explained why he decided to take up the challenge and lead the organization in the region. Well, because I have my personal organization, which is Fitness Unlimited Learning Center, martial arts school. We teach martial arts. So I was already doing some charity work. So I said, okay, this will add, you know, value to what my organization is doing. He also shared that personal experiences made the decision to lead easier, as he is also a survivor of domestic abuse. Mr. Robinson said when someone dealing with the domestic violence contacts the organization, they then take the information to the Gender-Based Violence Unit or the Witness and Victim Support Unit. And what we do, we provide training, which meaning self-defense training, how to stop um, a threat, to bring that awareness. It's not only physical fight, but more mental. We try to train it mentally and stuff like that. The organization was founded by CEO Kathleen Minor in Florida, USA, after seeing her grandmother live and deal with domestic abuse daily. The NGO receives donations of new or once-loved handbags and or essential items to fill hopeful handbags to distribute to survivors and their children. I'm Mahalia Joseph Wharton and this is See Yourself on TDT News.